Hi, it's Peter Walker here and welcome to today's edition of The Transition Guy. Now today I want to speak to you about Jim Rohn's The Four Seasons. And it's one of my favourite works from Jim Rohn. And if you take The Four Seasons, you take winter, spring, summer, autumn, they always come and they always go. They always follow the same pattern. After winter comes spring, after spring comes summer, after summer comes autumn, after autumn comes winter, and we go again. And some winters and some summers and some of the seasons are going to be more extreme than others. Sometimes we're going to have a mild winter, sometimes we're going to have a really tough cold winter, sometimes we're going to have really hot summers, sometimes we're just going to have a mild summer. It will always vary, and that's the same with the economy. No matter what season your business is in, sometimes you can have really extremes. And right now, guess what? We are heading into a really extreme economic winter. See, at the end of the day, with COVID-19, that's, that's basically sent the world into an absolute panic. You think about it, when have you known countries, entire countries going into lockdown? We've not even experienced this in 07, 08, during the great financial crisis. And I thought that was going to be the only one we actually got to experience in our lifetime. I did not see this coming, nor did many people. And the reality is this, like when you've got the seasons, what we've got to do is we've got to become better equipped at dealing with the seasons. They're always going to come and always go, but our ability to deal with them is paramount. And some of it will be experience. As we go through the years, we learn more, and others will be learned. We'll go out there, we'll take courses, we'll listen to webinars, whatever, but we'll acquire the skills needed to navigate. And given that we're in season mode now, I thought we'll start with the first season that we're currently experiencing, which is the economic winter. So you can imagine closing down countries, it's going to plunge economies into winter, and that's where we're at. We're not fully in it yet, but now that it's started, we're going to get there. Now some people say we're going to get out of it quite quickly, others say it's going to be more protracted. I don't think anybody knows the answer, to be quite honest. I think we're going to have to play it. Some businesses will be better at coming out of it than others. That is a fact. But you think about it, what, what's the parallels here? Well, in winter, the nights are long, they're tough, they're gloomy, but we must make sure that we hang in there. We know that the winter is going to be tough. When it comes to winter, what do farmers do? They make sure they put enough crop away to get through the winter season. Have you put enough cash away so you can ride this storm? For those of you that have enough cash and you can get through, congratulations. For those of you that haven't got enough cash, the governments are doing all they can to support you through various loan schemes, etc. And the reality is not every business is going to make it through the winter. But from experience, guess what? We've got to take solace in the fact we always get through a winter and spring will follow. So no matter how gloomy this seems now, remember there will always be a spring to look forward to. And when it comes to spring, we need to make sure that when spring does come, we take advantage of the spring. We take advantage of the situation. You think about the winter, it's going to get rid of a number of businesses. They're going to be gone. When it comes to spring, there's going to be fewer players in the market. And this is where businesses really start to grow again. And this is the beginning of new ideas. Yeah, markets have changed. New thinking comes in. It's a chance for you to now start motoring ahead. It's around sowing the seeds. Look for the opportunities and take them. At this period of time, you are going to, in most industries, have your lowest concentration of competition because the winter's taken them out. This is where you get extra strong. You've made it through the winter, you're now in spring. Solidify your position. Then when we get into summer, you've got to make sure you take care of your organisation. This is now high growth. If you get your spring right now, you are scaling in the summer. You are growing your organization, you are growing your people, you are growing your business. This is where we really start to take it and magnify. 
And then as we come out of summer, we go into autumn. And this is when you know whether or not your strategy has truly worked for that particular period. Because if you've done a great job, you're going to reap what you sow. So if you're making healthy profits, strong organization, they're the seeds you've sowed. If your organization isn't quite where you want it to be, and you haven't quite got that strength and depth in there, you've got to go back and say, okay, what is it I can learn? What is it I'm going to change when we go through this cycle again? And you've got to get prepared for the winter. It's not just about extracting cash out your business. It's about saying, what cash do we need to hold on to? What cash do we need to put aside? Not only so that we can get through the next winter, but also take advantage of the opportunities that may present themselves in the winter. Because for many businesses, their entire strategy is to grow their business, get their business ready. They look forward to the next winter because they know that when the next winter comes, it's cheap buy-in. They can get stuff at a much lower price than they could normally get. And make sure, yeah, make sure you've got your strategy. You learn from all of this. That's the most important thing. Remember what Jim said. It's about learning from our experiences learning to get through the next cycle. That's what you need to do. So I'd love to know where you are in this current cycle. Did you go into the winter strong? Is it a great area of opportunity for you? Are you going into the, into the winter extremely weak? Are you scared that your business isn't going to make it? Because I'll tell you something, there are so many businesses out there that are in your position. About 20% of businesses are going to fail, but 80% are going to make it through. If anything I spoke to you today has resonated and you want more information, you want to discuss it, perhaps you want to discuss the opportunities that you can have in the winter, you're looking at acquisitions, etc. or perhaps your business isn't where you want it to be, you're worried about it going out of business, you need to make some quick changes, head over to balker.com, let's have a conversation, get in touch. And for those of you that have found today's sort of episode really useful, do me a favour please, can you share it with others, let's get the message out there. And also leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your biggest takeaways are. I always like feedback. You see, I'll do these episodes and I present to you, but because they're recorded, I never get any feedback. Therefore, my only interaction is going to be with you online in the comment section. So please do that. And remember, failing to learn is learning to fail. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>